Okay, take two. Today's Friday, the 25th. Uh, making a vlog. Just got back yesterday. We went to the Capitol building, stuff in Jackson. That video is being uploaded right now. I'm gonna. I'm gonna apologize in advance for the um, video quality being only 480p. Um, it's because I'm filming with the uh, same camera that I'm filming from now. The this is my old cell phone, so I'm terribly sorry about the quality. Um, the audio, I'm terribly sorry about all the background noise. Uh, so, you know, it is what it is. I did the best that I could. Um, I would have done a lot more footage, got a lot better, but they wouldn't let me film in the actual capital, active Capitol building because they, the Senate, Mississippi Senate, was in session. So I'm not was not allowed to film. But I did film some in the old Capitol building, um, and when you see the fish and stuff, those will be the uh, Natural Science Museum, and then you'll see some like older buildings and stuff. That was the Mississippi Agricultural Museum outdoor part. It had an indoor part, but I couldn't film in there. And I was going to film the outdoor part, which I did film what I could, and there was a really cool thing. There was a blacksmith there and he was making tools and implements stuff like that it was really cool and i talked to the guy and i'm like hey would could i film a little bit of this for youtube and he said oh no 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 sir i don't want to be on camera and i said okay that's that's fine i respect that and i talked to his uh partner and i'm like can i film you doing something he said no i really don't want to be on camera so i had to respect their wishes they said they didn't want to be on camera so i didn't film them and i wasn't about to try to hide the camera and record them any other way and I would have filmed more inside the uh, film more inside the um, uh, ag inside the agriculture museum building, but it was packed with people. I was told not that I could not film, so unfortunately I didn't film. Um, terribly, terribly sorry about that. That I couldn't get any footage, but they said no, so I had to respect that. I would have filmed more in the. Uh, Natural History Museum as well, but they also said, sir, um, we've had a couple complaints, which I don't think anybody complained, but they said, sir, we've had a couple complaints about you filming. Um, please don't film anymore. So I stopped and didn't film anymore. I was going to bring this one, the big Samson, but I wind up not doing it. Uh, this is sort of like a throwback flash from the past, this camera is. It's a Jazz HD camcorder, fisheye lens with a, it's got a light on it. I really miss that on that camera right there because it didn't have a light. This camera here is what I started my YouTube channel with. So, that's kind of cool to have it back in my possession. It's really, really cool. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to try to make a vlog today and I might do some from that um, gray camera back there. And if I do, um... I'll let you know when I'm on it if I get on that other camera. Not, I may just finish it from my Samsung Galaxy S2, import it to my computer, and upload it. So, like I said, it's 5.30 in the afternoon. I don't have a whole lot going on. Um, I do have a new tractor out here, though, if you'll notice. It's a uh, Ford 3930. There's going to be a video coming out on hydraulics on my channel later on. And this Ford 3930 has a heavy duty bush hog on the back of it that Ford 3930 should be around 40 horsepower perfect size and that is a six foot bush hog um, the engine horsepower is perfectly fine to run that bush hog but that bush hog is a heavy duty bush hog and that is just a medium duty tractor the uh, bush hog is very heavily built, very strong, still reinforced deck and stuff on it to be to put up with a lot of abuse, and uh, that's what that one's good at. But it's heavy, and it's actually heavier than the hydraulics are rated for on that tractor. So the hydraulics are actually having a lot of trouble picking that up. But I'm not going to discuss that in this video. There'll be a separate video on hydraulics maybe sometime next week. Hopefully I can get around to it. So yeah, I guess I'm going to start this vlog now and uh, we'll see what I get for the rest of the day. I am, and if anybody's wondering, you know, I don't know if I talked about it in this video or not because I had to do a retake, but I started feeling really bad. 
me and several people on that trip got really really sick about halfway through it and, and when we got home I am feeling better now and uh, I actually got to get in contact and text one of my buddies who was on the trip with me and ask him if he was if he's feeling better because he started feeling bad about the same time I did but uh, anyway I'll vlog more in a bit okay so it's later in the day um, I shot the scene once already and it didn't really work out uh, the camera messed up I lost some footage uh, all you missed was me back in the 3930 up to here and fighting to try to get the lift arm off of the uh, thing so now I'm gonna try to Something's not happy here. I can't quite figure out what it is. Because this thing's out of gear. And the brakes are locked. Oh. And I can get it set to a point where the lift arms have not got as much weight on it here to... Which of course it ain't coming off, so I just realized something of why now. So I'm not gonna mess with it yet. Well another day. That is a guy that owned this previously owned this thing was not very smart. In fact he was pretty dumb. Um, he has took in, taken a thing that was meant for adjustment on the other lift arm out and he has welded something in its place so with that in mind ain't much I can really do so that's wonderful of him to do that that's wonderful of him to be so smart and do that for me so yeah not very smart of an idea. Yeah, pretty dumb idea. I don't know why he did what he did. This guy that owned this before, he called himself a mechanic. He doesn't know much. He's not a farmer. All he is is just a guy with a tractor and a bush hog who thinks he knows everything. We're just gonna leave this thing sitting here. It ain't worth fighting with it. Um, but as you can see, there's a, uh, a nut right there. And as you can see right here, there's a pin that pulls out. That other arm needed to be adjusted more so that I could take it off. And I can't because he welded the bolt in on the bottom side and put it on the top side. Because obviously he didn't know A, what he was doing, or B, I don't, I don't know what he thought he was doing. You shouldn't even have to mess with that. As far as anything goes, there's no real requirements that you mess with those except for adjustment. Uh, anyway, this 15, or this 15, yeah, this 1210 is back apart. The hydrostat pump is out. This is the uh, one of the power steering pump, or steering gearboxes this outside. That's the other one. Um, these are my new lights here that I got for 20, 20 bucks. So they work great. I actually bought them from a what would be considered, I guess, a second hand store. They sell stuff second hand to people. Uh, like uh, like stuff that lows can't sell 
because they uh, dropped it or the package got damaged but the items not damaged I guess is what I'm trying to say and that's all that is the package was squished but it came from a uh, low store somewhere in Georgia I didn't I didn't look at the package too close but it came from somewhere in Georgia I've got a new GoPro mount in the truck now so driving videos are possibly going to start coming out soon um, I don't know if I'll be recording like every daily drive and maybe get a collection or a completion of like bad drivers and maybe do like a, a bad drivers in Mississippi completion because there seems to be a lot of people out there that do um, bad driver completions and I don't know if that's something I really want to get into right now or not but uh, while I'm over here in my neighbor's yard this is my grandmother that lives here actually um, this spot here um, is a garden or was a garden spot that I need to till up for her and uh, I don't know if anybody likes this tree I don't know for the life of me what this tree is called it's got flowers like that on it uh, I'm gonna be cutting this tree down so I can bring the garden spot out to probably here which is like 10 feet from the tree so yeah uh, dog house for the dog this is the old Troy built tiller uh, just old Troy built tiller that's all it is got an old Troy built engine on I don't know the horsepower specs and stuff but it ain't a lot uh, that's what we used to use to till up the gardens with I don't know if that's what I'm going to use now or not or if I'm going to go and borrow a uh, like a pull behind tiller that I can pull behind a tractor or you know maybe one of those tillers with a motor on it that you pull behind a four wheeler and I'll pull it behind my arctic cat I got a buddy it's got a uh, New Holland TC40 uh, tractor and a tiller made on that tractor I'll probably just probably just use that actually ended the last clip um, as I was walking away I noticed something in my trailer somebody has been nice enough to load my trailer full of junk so I had to take care of that not today of course but someday I'll have to take care of my trailer full of junk and I'll just haul that stuff um, what we do here is we have a special truck that the county owns that goes around and picks up yard waste like tree limbs and stuff and what they have said and which is what we do is we go way out yonder across the street and there's a thing over there we set it on the ground over yonder across the street and uh the county comes by in the summer and spring and fall several times in the summer several times in spring several times in the fall and they pick up all the yard waste so yeah old recliners going to the scrap heap because it's junk it was junk when it was in the house set out here in the rain so it was even more junk but uh yeah just no good crappy old recliner today's Friday I think it's good Friday I don't know um, I don't think there's any mail today though so yeah but anyway if I can think of anything else to film I'll film more later okay it is 10:42 at night I'm out here uh, standing out of the carport I'm just gonna probably bring this video to an end here pretty soon um, not a lot going on I haven't really vlogged outside 
under here at, at night in a while since uh, I was trying to catch those lightning strikes that night and I thought somebody as I kept hearing like somebody beating on a door and I thought somebody was breaking into that house over there which uh, thankfully it wasn't but anyway uh, supposed to be some bad weather Sunday so I'll try to do another vlog tomorrow and Sunday as well um, actually I'll tell you what I might do is I might do a weekend like a whole weekend in one vlog like I normally do and then I will do like a separate storm video I'm not sure but I think me and Landon are gonna try to get into some storm chasing here sometime in the near future but uh, I'm gonna end this video here and uh, thanks for watching and if you liked it leave a like if you want to see more hit the subscribe button